Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install and configure Key Cloak on Ubuntu 20.04. First of all, log into your Linux VPS using the Bitvise SSH client. Before starting, it is always recommended to update the system packages to the updated version. Run the following command to update all the packages to the latest version. Keycloak is a Java-based application. So Java JDK must be installed on your server. If not installed, you can install it using the following command. Once Java is installed, you can verify the Java version using the following command. You should see the Java version in the following output. Next, you will need to download the latest version of Keycloak from the GitHub website. You can use the wj command to download it to your system. Once the download is completed, extract the downloaded file with the following command. Next, move the extracted directory to the slash opt with the following command. Create a dedicated user and group for Keycloak with the following command. Next, set the ownership of the slash opt slash Keycloak directory to Keycloak. You will need to create a Keycloak configuration directory and copy the sample configuration file. You can create it inside the slash etc directory. Next, copy the sample configuration files from the slash op slash Keycloak directory using the following command. Next, set proper ownership using the following command. Edit the launch.sh file and define your Keycloak path. Change the file as the following. Save and close the file when you are finished. You will need to create a systemd service file to manage the Keycloak service. You can copy the sample systemd service with the following command. Edit the keycloak.service file and define the Keycloak installation path. Change the file as the following. Save and close the file then reload the systemd daemon to apply the changes. Next, start the Keycloak service and enable it to start its system reboot. You can check the status of the Keycloak service with the following command. You will get the following output. At this point, the Keycloak server is started and listens on port 8080. You can check it with the following command. You will get the following output. You can also check the Keycloak server log using the following command. Next, you will need to create an admin user to access the Keycloak web interface. Run the following command to create an admin user. Set your password. Restart the Keycloak service to apply the changes. You will need to disable the HTTPS for Keycloak. You can disable it with the following command. You will be asked to provide the admin password. Next, run the following command to disable the HTTPS. Now, open your web browser and access the Keycloak web interface using this URL. You will see the Keycloak login page. Provide your admin username, password and click on the sign in button. Next, you will need to create a realm to manage your applications. Hover the mouse over the master in the left panel and click on the add realm. A realm manages a set of users, credentials, roles, and groups. A user belongs to and logs into a realm. Provide your realm name and click on the create button to create a realm. You should see the following screen. Retype your realm name and click save. Next, you will need to create a new user for Keycloak. 
On the Manage, click Users. Next, click on the Add User button. Provide your user information and click on the Save button. Next, click on the Credentials tab and set a password for the users. Click on the Set Password button to set the password.